sometimes people because they're stupid. They go, hey, come here, and they come right to you. <laughs> just like dogs, you know. But are we good? Yeah, we can anytime. All right, it is Shafee for 97.9 GRD with Jacoby Shaddix from Papa Roach. What up? Welcome back to Grand Rapids, finally, because yeah, I know a lot of your fans have had to wait a long time. You were supposed to be here in August. You had the problem, yeah. so let me ask you right off the bat, how's the voice? The voice is great, man. Fans will see tonight. It's on fire, man. We just did a European tour with Stone Sour, and uh, I was kind of tripping on, you know, like how uh, my voice was going to be, you know, just because you just never know. I got the yeah. surgery, and I am 110%. I feel great. My voice is solid. I have no issues with it. I warm up every day. I got a new discipline in my lifestyle, and it, and it helps with my consistency of my vocals. And, uh, you know, it's on fire, so I feel freaking great. Is it, uh, is it true that I've read that sometimes? I compared it on the radio to the rock and roll version of baseball's Tommy John surgery. Where a lot of the times the pitchers that have the operation they come back better than they ever were before. You know, it's 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 trippy because I went and got this surgery and then I went and saw this vocal coach, started working with his vocal coach. And it's like you just become more mindful of what you were doing wrong in my technique, you know? And uh, so I just re remedied those things and now it's like I used to kind of stress out like, oh I got three shows in a row, my voice is gonna be hoarse for the last show. I don't have to worry about that anymore. Like my voice is Knock on wood, you know what I'm saying? But it's I haven't had an issue yet, you know? It's like I get on stage every night and I don't have to force it no more, you know, so it's yeah. cool. That's good, though, because you do uh, try super hard every time I've ever seen you. Yeah, we pop off the hinges, you know what I'm saying? That's definitely something that, you know, we maintain true to. Yeah, good. And I listened to The Connection last night for the first time. All okay, before. cool. And I honestly believe that it's probably your best album. Thanks, from Start man. to finish. Thank you. I'm very proud of this record. Yeah, and, it, and the one thing I think that you guys have always stayed relevant since I guess you broke through with Infest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Despite that, and I think maybe because you constantly change the sound, not entirely, but a little bit. Yeah, just a little bit. We always try to evolve it, you know. I think with uh, the connection, I wanted to go back and listen to, you know, what we've done in the past with our records, you know, with Infest and songs that are on that record that have that rap and that metal. You know, but then also like we love Hate Tragedy when we evolve more into a rock kind of postmodern hard edged band. And then with the Getting With Murder where we added some of the pop elements into our band. And uh, you know, with this new record adding the electronic elements into some of the yeah. songs, you know. And really just kind of like still maintaining that one, two P Roach punch, but like taking all the great things about our band over the last, you know, decade or two decades now. Um, and really putting them all into one record and it's like a solid cohesive sound and a style and it sounds like us but it's progressed and thank you for the compliment you know and also congratulations on longevity because i'm sure that i mean you could probably put a list together of bands that you guys have toured with or played with that are no more it's hard to keep everything together let yeah. alone to keep everybody's interest in what you're doing and so i respect what you guys do because it seems to me that you're not afraid of change you're not afraid to succeed or fail. Yeah. People might not like the new stuff that you do. Luckily for you guys. Yeah, yeah. Thank God it's been good so far. But yeah, you're willing yeah, yeah. to take that chance yeah. rather than release the same album over and over. Right? Well, yeah, I mean, it's like, you know, there's an old saying. I don't know who's saying it is, but it says something about, you know, the people who take the visit, biggest risks sometimes reap the biggest rewards, you know? And it, and it reminds me of a time in our career when we wrote a song like Scars. Yeah. You know, and it was totally different, you know, it was so much different than even the single before, Getting Away With Murder. You know, it's still had a rock edge, but this one was like, you know, this could be on pop radio, sure. you know, and it was. And like, we're tripping, we're like, man, but it's just undeniable, we feel it. It's like where this song came from is so pure and so real that it just was undeniable to us. And we released it and our rock fans love it. And it went to like number five on the pop charts. Right. And for us, it's like, holy shit. Like, that's and you, crazy. And you can come back with yeah. something totally different. Yeah, we got Where Do the Angels Go that's popping off yeah. on the hard edge stations. And before, before I Die, die. coming up is yeah. unlike anything I've ever heard yeah. in a band before. That's another one of those songs, like, kind of, you know, in the Scars realm, where it's like nothing we've done before, but there's something just so special about it and so real and brutally honest about it that it makes it us. And that's that's who P. Roach is, you know? It's Jacoby Shaddix from Papa Roach, Kobe Dick. 
Johnny Mr. Dick would be nasty. Yeah, you got them all, uh, dude. Dakota Gold. Dakota Gold. John Doe. Oh, my God. You and know now, them all. Jacobo and Sonico. I got one Sonico. That sounds to me like a luchador. Uh, that that could be my luchador name. Luchador de Estrellas. Jacobo and Sonico. <laughs> it's Jacobo and Sonico? Yeah, Jacobo and Sonico. From Tijuana, the Mexican champion, Jacobo and Sonico. Uh, Hokobo and Sonico came from, uh, I used to work as a janitor at a hospital, and uh, my name in Spanish is Hokobo. Okay. And so Jacob is, you know, I can't really pronounce Jacoby because it's, you know, you know. but Hokobo, that's my Spanish name, and, uh, and Sonico means insane, or Sonic, no, so, and Sonico means Sonic. Sonic. So uh, it's like, you know, just Sonic Jacoby, like, on fire, and that's kind of who I am on stage in a weird way, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Hokobo and Sonico. <laughs> the Latin lover, the passionate queen in that movie. There he is. Hakobo and Sonic. Yeah, yeah. I apologize for mispronouncing it. Oh, I, it's all good, dude. I, I, I'm even surprised that you know it, dude. It kind of gets, gets me off, dude. Uh, well, hey, I didn't know I was going to get him off tonight, but that's Oh, look, there's my drummer. He's naked. Uh -oh. I guess I should probably shut this off. You should see his penis. It's huge. He's Italian. Yeah, well. That's what hey, he is naked. You are bullshit. I'm not naked. Well, he could be. He's in the towel. Oh, my God. <laughs> um, that could be weird. Switch chicks in the room, so it's okay. Yeah, there you go. That's even better. <laughs> We're all comfortable. Yeah, it's cool. Uh, Thanks right now. There's no problem. Cool. I'm swinging it. Were you surprised, like a lot of us were, to hear that Adam Gantier left three days grace? Uh, Yeah. Definitely. I was kind of tripped out about that. It was kind of out of nowhere. I, I talked to the drummer the other day. He's like, whoa, man, talk about being blindsided. You know, I have no idea what the reason is or what it is, but, you know, it's like, I wish him the best, man. I know Adam, and he's a good dude, and, he, and he's he's a great songwriter and a, and a great frontman, you know, and, and, and I hope that they find a way to recover from it, you know, because that's like, losing your singer is tough. For sure. You know, losing anybody in your band is tough. I mean, we, you know, when we went through the whole phase, like, actually, Grand Rapids here at this venue, Orbit Room, this is the the last venue we played with our ex-drummer, Dave Buckner, was here. Yeah. And, uh, you know, it just, we we, we, uh, we had to move on after that, man, you know? Well, it just shows how tough it is. we got to Tony, the Italian Save a ho! There. <laughs> Save a ho, Palermo, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> um, before I wrap this up, I want to take a trip down memory lane with you. Oh, snap. <laughs> now, I started in rock radio in 1999, so I... Okay, could, same time then. Right. I, I think we're about the same age. Yeah, I'm 36. I just turned 35. Okay, cool. So, yeah, we're right around there. And I remember looking at the playlist one night when I had my first job and going, Papa Roach, what's this? Let's check this out. Last Resort. And now you still hear the song everywhere you go. And then, this is about 10 years ago in Detroit. First, we'll get that on there if you can. This is me, you, and... Oh, uh, is that dude from Taproot? I can see kind of... No, it looks like, like him. That's my uh, buddy Jay Hudson. He's running a station in uh, Detroit now. Dang, that is a long time ago, dude. That's 10 yeah. years ago. And I just... what's up. I want to get another picture today. And then here's the deal, though. you got to promise to this. 10 years from now, I'll oh, interview yeah. you again. <laughs> we'll do it again. We'll take another picture, maybe share Viagra. As, as he gets older. <laughs> Yeah, there it is. Cialis. So, it, it, you know, yeah, it's Cialis. Cialis. It's, Ten years from now, we'll still both be alive, doing what we love, and uh, I'll interview you again sometime. It's a deal. All right, there it is. Deal. Jacoby Shares. Wow. Hakobo and Sonico. Yeah. And bitches. Papa Roach back in Grand Rapids for 97.9 GRD and Shafee.